Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the diamond problem in C++ or in object-oriented programming and also the solution for that diamond problem in C++. Alright, what is this diamond problem? So this diamond problem is said to arise when there is an inheritance hierarchy containing two or more base classes that inherit from a common base which results in a need of ambiguity resolution in the absence of virtual inheritance is called diamond problem so which is nothing but uh, let me see whether i can draw this so first we're gonna have a base class and let's call it as a and then from this a we're gonna inherit or we're gonna create two derived classes and let's say B and C and we're gonna have another class called D and this D is gonna inherit from this C, B and C so here this B and C are inheriting from this class A and uh, you know this D is inheriting from this B and C at that time what happens is in this class D if we refer to the members or member functions of this class A at that time there will be the ambiguity because you know this b and c are inheriting from this class a and that's why this b and c are going to contain an object of this class a so when we refer the member of this class a in this class d you know the compiler will not come to know from which instance it has to access the member of this a whether from b or whether from c so this type of problem is called diamond problem in object oriented programming all right so now here for the demonstration purpose in this tutorial we're gonna have a class called animal and this animal class is used to inherit two more classes they are called lion and uh, another one is gonna be tiger and then you know these two classes are inherited from this class animal and then we're gonna have another class called liger and this liger class is gonna inherit from this lion and also this tiger so at that time we're gonna have the diamond problem and I'm gonna show you the solution to avoid the diamond problem in C++ alright let's begin so the first thing that we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna create a class called animal so it's gonna be class animal and inside this class definition let's have the public access specifier and uh, let's create a member let's call it as age and let's have a member function and let's call it as walk all right now uh, inside this walk method we're just gonna say animal walks animal walks and i'm gonna end this line and let's add a semicolon all right now we have a base class called animal you know which has a member age and a meta called walk the, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the classes so it's gonna be class tiger and this tiger is gonna inherit from the animal so it's gonna be public inheritance and animal and similarly I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in the next line and we're gonna form the lion class and uh, you know just for the demonstration purpose we're not gonna have any members in this tiger and lions so now we have a base class called animal and we have two derived classes which are deriving from this class animal they are called tiger and lion and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build another class you know which is gonna derive from this tiger and lion so it's gonna be class liger and it's gonna be multiple inheritance so it's gonna be public tiger comma public lion all right now here also we're not gonna have any member and member functions that just for the demonstration purpose all right now we have a diamond problem here that's because if I create an object of this class liger and if I try to access this member age or walk you know there will be ambiguity just to demonstrate that I'm gonna use liger and let's give a name let's say anil and uh, if I try to access this walk or age let's call walk anil dot walk and now if I try to build and run this program we'll get the error so if I open up the logs it says 
request for member walk is ambiguous candidates are animal walk and animal walk that means that you know when we call this walk method the compiler will not know whether it has to call this walk method from the object of the animal from this tiger or from this lion because you know both this tiger and lion are inheriting from this class animal so when we create an object of this class tiger you know there will be two instances of this class animal and this is called the diamond problem and the next thing that we're going to see is the solution for this diamond problem that is the virtual inheritance so all of us have used the virtual keyword to form the virtual functions or the virtual methods in the classes so when we use an virtual method in the base class you know if that derived class overrides that method and when we call that using the base class reference that derived class method is called here we going to see the another use of this virtual keyword which is for virtual inheritance so here while defining the classes tiger and lion you know what we going to do is we going to specify to the compiler that i'm going to use the virtual inheritance so this virtual inheritance is nothing but here you know in this tiger class if you use virtual inheritance then there will be only one object of this class animal in this tiger class so just to demonstrate that i'm going to write the virtual and uh, we need to do that here also you know in this class lion definition virtual and that's it so when you write the programs you know if you have to use a derived class as base class for any other class at that time it's always a good practice to use the virtual inheritance so this virtual inheritance is going to help you guys to solve the diamond problem now here you know when we create an object from this class tiger and if we call the method walk which is a member of this class animal you know there will not be any ambiguity just to demonstrate that i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this program and now you guys can see we don't have any error and it says animal walks all right so this is another use of the virtual keyword so when we use this virtual keyword with functions you know it's going to create the virtual functions and if you use that while inheriting from a class like we have done here you know it is called the virtual inheritance so this virtual keyword has two uses okay the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is about the call of the constructors so all of us know that you know when we use inheritance you know when we create an object from a derived class the derived class constructor is going to call the base class constructor automatically but here when we use this virtual inheritance it is a different case just to demonstrate that i'm going to create the constructor in this animal class so it's going to be animal the same name as the class name and it's going to be a default constructor and i'm going to say animal constructor and let's end this line and similarly we're going to create the constructor for this tiger and lion so it's going to be public access specifier and tiger and here also we're going to say see out constructor of tiger all right now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste that in lion and we need to change this one to lion the class name and i'm going to say constructor of lion and let's add new line or end line just to make it pretty and let's create another constructor in this tiger so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it in the tiger again and i'm going to change this one to liger and we're going to say constructor of liger all right now i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this now you guys can see so the animal constructor is called so when we create an object of this liger class this liger class is going to directly call the constructor of the animal class that's why we get animal constructor and then the constructor of the tiger and then the constructor of lion and then the constructor of liger 
so when we use virtual inheritance you know the constructor call will be different from the normal inheritance so here in this case the constructor of this liga is going to directly call the constructor of this animal first and that's why we get animal constructor and then it's going to call the constructor of tiger that's why we get constructor of tiger and then the constructor of lion and then it executes its own constructor statements and it prints constructor of liga so this is it guys this is about the diamond problem in object oriented programming and a solution for that in c++ and also the use of virtual keyword to solve the diamond problem and also the constructor call when we use the virtual inheritance so thank you for watching guys and if you, if you guys like my video tutorials please subscribe and uh, like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and stay updated with the latest videos that i'm gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial